This is the day after Nigeria's new president, Bola Tinubu, announced the subsidy removal for gasoline, resulting in long queues for fuel in the capital. The situation is similar across the country and experts say gasoline prices could triple within days. As you can see with the kind of line, if you give it, if it stays up to a week, you know that it will be I'm very sure that fuel station will start shutting down because very because very soon some fuel station will start closing up, telling us they don't have fuel again. They have seen the, how the last how the last regime made people suffer. So I expect them to learn from the mistakes. Uh, the immediate part will be inflation. There will be a rising of inflation in all parts. The transport, most of the Thing we use, you know, the, our, our transport in Nigeria is land, mostly land transport. So when the transport is high, goods will go high. But Tinubu supporters praise what they say is bravery. They say removing subsidies could save crucial public funds to drive government projects. Nigerian authorities say the country spends about $800 million monthly to keep fuel prices down. The 71-year-old leader succeeds Muhammadu Buhari after a controversial presidential election in February in which electoral body INEC declared Tinubu the winner. But opposition parties accuse the ruling party of rigging polls and manipulating voters and are seeking redress in court. Opposition supporters have been protesting, accusing the INEC of subverting the people's will. I believe uh, the justice system, which is one of the reasons why we're here, to tell the judiciary you have a responsibility to, to dispense justice. INEC has practically failed. It's a daydream you are seeing, and I believe they will wake up to reality. But his supporters say everyone must now collaborate with the new leader. Other parties to come together so that we can be able to move this Nigerian forward. This is just the way out. They should withdraw everything, every aspect of the court, everything. They will withdraw it from the court. Let us concentrate on the development of Nigeria. The National oil regulator NNPC has welcomed the subsidy removal and promised an adequate supply of gasoline. But oil marketers have yet to determine a new unified pump price. Experts warn that Nigeria already is battling its highest inflation rate in nearly two decades, more than 22 percent, and it could face a bleak future. But the new leader says he will review the central bank's monetary policies and get inflation in check. Timothy Obiezu for VOA News, Abuja, Nigeria.